diagnosis of mesothelioma can be suspected with imaging but is confirmed with biopsy. It must be clinically and histologically differentiated from other pleural and pulmonary malignancies including reactive pleural disease, primary lung carcinoma, pleural metastasis of other cancer and other primary pleural cancers. Primary pericardial mesothelioma is often diagnosed after it has metastasized to lymph nodes of the lungs. Here imaging comes in play. Diagnosing mesothelioma is often difficult because the symptoms are similar to those of a number of conditions. Diagnosis begins with a review of the patient's medical history a history of exposure to asbestos may increase clinical suspicion for mesothelioma. A physical examination is performed followed by chest x-ray and often lung function tests. The x-ray may reveal pleural thickening commonly seen after asbestos exposure and increases suspicion of mesothelioma. A CT scan or an MRI is usually performed to confirm this stage. If a large amount of fluid is present, abnormal cells may be detected by cytopathology if this fluid is aspirated with a syringe. For pleural fluid, this is done by thoracentesis or tube thoracostomy, which is chest tube. For ascites with paracentesis or acidic drain, and for pericardial effusion with pericardiocentesis, while absence of malignant cells on cytology does not completely exclude mesothelioma, it, is, it makes it much more unlikely. Especially if an alternative diagnosis can be made. 